We absolutely needed it. And you know, we've got a little bit more shower action that happened tonight for a few folks in Wilkes County earlier this afternoon. And you can see temperatures too finally cooling off as we had some of those showers come through. They're down to 77 degrees now in Yakinville, 72 in North Wilkesboro, now down to 78 in Greensboro, 81 still around Winston Salem. Look at those rainfall totals estimated over the last 24 hours and really just the last 12 for folks here. Those showers were slow movers rolling through sections of Yakin County, and those were some of the areas that were still under the severe drought. So more than an inch there, one and a half inches. And tomorrow we will see that drought updated reporting for you tomorrow. We'll have those details for you too. We've got marginal risk areas for folks all the way through the beaches up into the mountains over the next two days. So Thursday and Friday we have impact days for a risk for severe storms. Even though storms are still looking pretty spotty in terms of the coverage over the region, it does look like we'll see some severe action with damaging winds and large hail if we can get those severe storms going. So we'll look for that. Frequent lightning may also be a part of the mix. 92 degrees officially today. Winston Salem also in Greensboro. We hit 90 as well as Burlington and feeling more like the upper 90s to triple digits out there. Certainly tomorrow easily getting there to 72 degrees tomorrow morning and highs feeling like 100 degrees by 3 4 o'clock in the afternoon. You've got rain chances also coming up a little bit more for folks in the Piedmont Triad. So getting closer to the dinner hour, one or two of those storms could start to rumble out there. We want you to listen for thunder if you're hitting the pools again too. I know last couple of weeks being able to hit the pools before school school begins 72 degrees in the foothills highs feeling like 99 at least in the foothills with rain chances at 40%. You might even see a couple passing morning showers too in the mountains. You know, we've got some showers that have been hanging out just west of the Blue Ridge Parkway. So in the Smokies, they've had some showers and storms. They started to fade after sunset. They may pick back up early morning and then the isolated nature of those storms keeps us still feeling like the upper 80s in between. You'll get a little sunshine too in the mountains. Heat advisories are up for folks from the Triangle Raleigh area out toward Will Wilmington and big concerns there for heat illnesses. So a reminder if you're going to be traveling too, it feels like temperatures are even worse than what we're experiencing Thursday through the weekend. 91 to 103 for those feels like temps and 89 to 95 for the actual temperature reading. Steamy conditions out there meaning you need to take some precautions to make sure you're keeping hydrated and keeping cool. All right, tracking the traffic. We've been watching the system for the last several days. It's just been kind of meandering from the, off the coast of Africa. It continues to build over Puerto Rico. Scattered showers and just widely thunders, active thunderstorms out there, but not organized. And so once they become better organized, it may become a depression. And we're looking at that system tracking over the Bahamas and closer to Cuba as we head into the weekend. Then the impact zone could be somewhere along the Gulf Coast or even the East Coast as we head out toward Miami, heading north up along the Carolinas and so a 60% chance that we may see depression in the next 60 day or seven days I should say and we're expecting to see Debbie if it does become a named tropical storm. That's the next on the list. All right next several days we've got impact days for you with good rain chances and that continues through the foothills. Temperatures are steamy in those 90s and we see Saturday and Sunday with better rain chances potentially a little bit better coverage too and so we keep you as impacts for the afternoon and evening but not a complete washout. Your morning should still feel pretty comfortable as long as you're up at six just as the sun rises before it gets too hot. <laughs>